I remember when I was very young, my parents taught me how to read rats as a way to tell the future. They said it would help me one day, and to be honest, I didn't believe them. It just seemed pointless. But do you know what? They were right. You see how there's two rats going in a clockwise pattern, and one going counterclockwise? That means there's good fortune being cast down from the stars upon Keon's mission. I think Keon is actually going to be okay. I think everything's going to work out. Anyway, uh, welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters Book 2. Guess what happened in between recording the last episode and this one? I learned how to access the inventory. Cool, isn't it? Alright, so the, this is the mole's map. I need to intercept with a runner. Uh, as you can see, the runner's pathway is pretty far away from where I'm at right now. I'm not entirely sure how the checkpoint plays into this. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to catch him at the checkpoint, or catch him before the checkpoint, or... Or what? But, uh... I guess I'll bring the map up again when I get closer. This place is really lovely looking. I love the detail that they put into the environment. Very pretty. So many people. I've got the non magical medicines your body is. Oh, yeah, I've got tasty sandwiches. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Get out of my pockets. Hey! Hey! Let go! Help! Help? You tried to steal my purse? So? You're a Zardi! That's the worst excuse ever for stealing a purse. You could get your arm chopped off. So far, so good. Lucky for you, I'm not a Zadi. Now scram. How tall are you? You're really tall. Leave me alone, boy. You're a lot taller than my dad. Are you sure you're not a Zadi? Yes. You look a Zadi. Are you a soldier? Why aren't you in uniform? Are you secret police? What? No. Run off before I lose my patience with you. You sure look like one of them. Oh, for the love of the goddess. What's your name, boy? Bip. Bip? Yeah. <laughs> so? You should be with your mother, Bip. <laughs> Not out on your own, thieving. Go home. Can't. I ain't got one. I'm sorry. You should still not- They're not dead or anything. Uh, my parents. They were just sent to Guillen. Guillen. That's where the Magicals are sent. They don't come back from there. But the boy must know this already. He must have seen it happening to others. Oh, God, do I tell him? Well, I mean, he probably kind of knows, but do I sever any... any tiny... tiny seed of hope that he might have? I guess it's for the best. To the prison colony. Re-education camp. That's what my father said. They probably didn't listen very well in school when they were children. They'll be back, when they've been properly re-educated. No one comes back from the islands. Not Magicals. What do you mean? I mean... Are you saying they're going to stay there forever? Oh, God. He's only a boy. But so was I when I became an orphan. No one protected me from the truth. They're not coming back. But why? What will happen to them? You shouldn't think of such things. Do you have no family here? Not in Mercuria. They're all in the Southlands. What's going to happen to them? They will be put to work. That's what the prison camps are for. To keep the Magicals away from humans. To segregate them. Segregate? To keep Magicals apart from humans. Forever. You're lying. 
I am not. Truly. You're one of them. Why are you here? Are you going to take me and send me to be a segu... Segregated. Segregated. Two? I'm not one of them. Well, you sure look and sound like them. I'm sorry about your parents. But I have things I need to do. Are you with the Resistance? Uh, resistance? Well, of course not. I'm... Because I overheard someone saying there's an Azadi in the Resistance now. And if you're Azadi, and you're here, and you have things to do, that sounds an awful lot like you're with the Resistance. Keep your voice down, boy. Don't worry. Everyone in Old Town supports the Resistance. Most everyone, anyway. What do you mean by most everyone? I mean that there are some who don't support the Resistance, some who sneak off to National Front Assemblies, some who rat out rebels to the Azadi. Do you know anyone like that? No. Well, I don't know their faces, but I know where there's a National Front Assembly tonight. Show me. What? Show me where. I get to go on a mission with you. That's... that's... so incredibly cool! Calm down, boy. I just want you to tell me where it is. How well do you know the city? Well, not... very. Right. So I'll show you. Too complicated to tell you. It's not safe. For you? No. For me? I leave the ghetto all the time when it's dark. I know where to go. Where the guards are posted, their patrol routes, everything. I'm like a rogue. One with the shadows, the veiled avenger. I'm an assassin. Uh... Just show me the way, and then you're coming straight back here. I'll just stay for a little while. Straight back. Or I find someone else to take me. Good luck with that. But fine, I'll come straight back. Are you ready? Can we go now? I should explore first, and maybe do some of my other tasks. There's no reason to delay this mission. Um, I was kind of in the middle of doing something else, so yeah, let's actually come back later. I should explore. Will you wait for me here? Oh man, but we are going, right? Tonight? Soon. Fine, I'll wait. My table's always open, day and night. <laughs> that sounds like the like the sound effect for when somebody just like hits you over the head with like a, a styrofoam tube. Bip. Alright, where are we? Oh my god, this place is huge! Exotic oils, foreign herbs. Yeah, I didn't realize just how big this place is. Wow. Secrets? No secrets. Let's My sample the local no culture. Spells, I'm afraid. There are laws against those sorts of things now. Nothing magical allowed. I used to sell all sorts of magical merchandise. Those days are over. Even here in Malta. That sort of thing can get you shipped out to the re-education camps. I can barely hear you. Can you speak up, please? I used to sell all sorts of magical medicines. Sorry you couldn't find what you were looking for. I've got the non-magical medicines your body needs. Fully authorized and licensed. No sorcery. Have I tied you over before tea? Sandwiches! Nice I've got tasty sandwiches! Maybe because it's late. Maybe business is slower these days. I've got maybe the other the vendors have been arrested. Cured Elgin meat. Pickled shrimp cheese, crispy, bitter. You look like the sort of man who'd appreciate a savoury sandwich. Meat, veggies, spread on flatbreads, yeast buns, or grain snack. rolls. Early Hot or cold, lunch. with a cup of soup or without. What'll it be? That actually sounds delicious. Tell your friends. I've got eats from across the Northlands. Not I've got salted tatters from Riverwood, soaked in saltwater brine and rat piss. Ew! The rat piss keeps it fresh. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a bit of rat piss on your tatters. <laughs> what? Are you serious? You don't look like my usual customers. You're a lot bigger than them. And you're sort sandwiches. of indistinct. I've got tasty sandwiches. Must be I think I need glasses. Indistinct? Must be the potion. Tell your friends. Nibbles, scrub, 
tasty morsels. Northlands Parcel and Postal Service. Alright, so don't talk to guards, right? That's one of the things about this potion. Ooh, there's an alleyway there. Hmm. Hold on, I'm curious what's up here. Oh, you're not actually meant to go here, are you? Nope. Okay, don't look the guards in the eyes. Don't talk to them. Uh, Everything's fine. Over. I think I'll head down to that cheap tavern by the R. Watch your back in there. You can't trust the magicals. <sighs> I guess that, like, visual effect on the screen means that you're uh, in danger of being seen. Horsies! Can I pet them? I can't. I'm sad. Can I pet the cow? Nope. A map of the southernmost parts of Mercuria. Okay, so now we're on the very edge of where the runner goes, I think. Let's check. Yes, yeah, so the runner actually does go through here. Mm hmm. Now, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to actually get the the message from him. Am I just going to, like, pickpocket him or just, like, beat him up in a dark alleyway or something? The guard's fiddling with the thing. There are more steam machines than ever, and we still have no idea what they're for. They're connected to the pipes, and they appear to be linked to the tower. But why? Yeah, all, all this machinery has always been so mysterious. Even in Dreamfall, I think, they were just strange machines and, like, nobody really knew what the hell they were for. It's very bizarre. The construction of the tube network appears to be picking up pace. There are wagon loads of metal pipes everywhere, and the laborers work into the night. Okay, so the messenger is likely to be a young boy, right? I think it's what Keon said. So we're looking for a young... A young boy. Mercurian me Mechanical Company. There aren't a lot of people out at night, even though the streets appear to be safe. People still keep their heads down around Azadi military. They must fear the worst. Okay, so we're also looking for the family uh, that I need to talk to. Do I know where they are exactly? I don't think I do. Arnstadt, seek out his family in the bones. Yeah, it just says they're in the bones. Which is where I'm where I'm at. National Front Guard. Uh I don't think I want to speak to you. Oh, Staunt Family Carpentry Construction. Here it is. Oh god, they already look sad. That's, I guess, probably his wife and daughter? Hi. Pardon me, mistress. I'm looking for the Staunt Widow. I'm glad you stoned. Who are you? 
I... I knew your husband. He was a brave man. Knew him? How did you know him? We met in Friar's Keep, mistress. On the night of his death. He saved my life. In return, I granted him death. You granted... You killed my husband. He was dying. They would have tortured him had they found him alive. He asked me to visit you. To tell you that he... He loves you. Oh, don't talk to me of love. He helped you survive. You held my husband's life in your hands. And you killed him? You are despicable. Leave, before I call the city watch on you. Well, I guess that went just about as well as I would expect. It really is for the best that I killed him, though. And this would be the Journeyman Inn. I remember this place. Come on. I see it popping up. There we go. The Journeyman Inn was closed down when we arrested the innkeeper, Ben Rime Selmin. Trying to keep everything straight. As far as like where I'm at. I wanna find a map. Okay, so pretty much right in the middle of the bones. So this is not quite where the messenger goes. He does go kinda of point. What if I use my mouse? No, the pointer doesn't pop up. Alright, but yeah, at the, the steps in the top left, where I was just looking at where there were like three guards, two guards guarding the steps, one working on one of the steam machines, that's one of the areas where the messenger goes. I don't know if I can make it up there, because there's a lot of guards. They might find me too suspicious. Chickens! You know, I think the chickens have the same movement routines as the rats. <laughs> They're doing the same sorts of things. Moving in, like some are moving randomly and some are moving in clockwise and counterclockwise patterns. That's just closed off. Okay. Um, I never saw the messenger. Perhaps I should go with the young boy and go to the meeting. Or I could attempt to go over here. Up those steps that I wasn't sure if they would allow me past. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully they're not too suspicious.
Wait, did I miss it? Or is it over here? Oh no, here it is. Nice and calm. Nice and calm. Who's there? Okay, we're good. Law offices of Dellen, 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 and Quick. Huh? <laughs> Sounds like some sort of an in-joke that I don't remember. It's a good thing the streets are as empty as they are. Makes my assignment easier. See, I believe this is one of the areas where, yeah, the messenger definitely comes through here. Mm-hmm. So given that I haven't seen the messenger, I'm guessing that I need to go to the checkpoint. Aw, oh, that's a cute little place. Look at that, it's like a... It's like a mini tower. A baby tower. So this, yeah, this is the checkpoint. A runner passing messages between checkpoints. Lure the Azadi messenger to an isolated location. Did you hear the one about the? Sorry, it's... Anyone there? All right, how am I going to lure him? While my veil is active, for me, they cannot recognize me. Not unless I want them to, or I act carelessly. I'll see that it's delivered, Dar. Nice and easy. I should be able to catch up with him, but I need yeah, I need to get him somewhere secluded. Does what do he... you want? Hmm? Nothing. Can I help you with anything? So I obviously need to, to get to a place before he actually gets there. Oh crap, he goes that way? Uh oh. That's the boy I'm supposed to intercept. Just out for a nice Are you job. Following me? No, no, we're Stop just going for a job. Me. Working on my cardio. I don't know which way he goes. Probably this way. Balance. Are you a ghost? Where in Shadow's name did you come uh, from all of a sudden? Let's see. Which way is it again? It's so hard to see anything in this light. Right, left. Left's right. Uh, um, uh, left. Oh. Do I need to wait for him back here? Or do I need to flip the signs or something? It says, Watcher's Court. The sign reads, Earthrin's Ascent. Hmm. Watcher's Court. Okay, so I can flip the signs. So now, oh, he's already coming around, so he's going to go this way instead. 
And this is a secluded place, isn't it? It's a dead end. Ooh. I'll just wait right here. Hi. This don't look right. Hey. What the f- It wasn't supposed to be killed. Was that done by the mole or somebody else? What's going on? Goddess. Dead. Murdered. What for? What the hell did those arrows even come from? What that poor boy. The mole will need to answer for this boy. The mole will need to answer for this boy's death. I don't know if she actually did it. I feel like it might have been somebody else. Alright, let's go back to the mole. Hello? Hello? Of course it's possible. Oh, next time, maybe. My table's always open, day and night. The Azadi return to get proverbial back scratched. He was just a boy. He'd harmed no one. Does she hate the Azadi so much that she's been completely blinded? Why did you have the runner killed? Good question. Why did Azadi see the need to kill Banda children? She did do it. Because one day they think Banda children grow to be Banda women and men. And then they come for Azadi. Better make sure this never happen. If she has something on her mind, I should let her speak. One death cannot compensate for another. This is true, Azadi. Retribution may be counterproductive. But your people must also be made to suffer for their crime. They need to see the consequence of their action. They need to feel pain. And that man, that boy, he was in wrong place at wrong time. He's safer this way. He cannot run back and tell on us. Or on you. You talk about making my people suffer. But my people know nothing of what has transpired here in the Northlands. You can't lay this at the feet of all Azadi. How do I make them see? How do I make them understand our loss? The Banda Banta are no more because of Azadi. I can gnash teeth and sharpen claw for many moon. It will not change truth. Your people will never mourn mine. But if I take life, make mother suffer the loss of child, Make friend miss friend, husband miss wife. Maybe then someone will think of mine. Maybe then someone will remember our loss. I'm not sure that's how it works. Perhaps not, Kian of the Azadi. But one can always hope. I may not honour that part of the arrangement, but I will honour most important part. Your resistance will get weapon. All the weapon I have to give. 
I still need some for my men. Sharpest sword, swiftest axe, strongest bow. But the rest go to your people. Not your people, Azadi. Your people rebel movement, otherwise would be silly. Of course. Thank you. My men will be in touch with your women, and also men. Leave now, Azadi. It's dark and late. And I will sleep. Sleep and dream of happier day in Burrow to the north, where laughter of children fill every tunnel. Dream of friend and of family while I mourn them all. I think the Banda Banta would be ashamed that she's the last one left, that she's the one that actually represents them. After all her people died, I guess she's just broken. Okay, let's go back to the boy, and go find the secret meeting. Bip. Are you ready? Can we go now? There's no Let's go. Yes! Follow me! Oh, do come again. Balance! My table Are you a ghost? Where in Shadow's name did you come from all of a sudden? You need to leave the ghetto. How will you get past the guards? I know a way. Meet me on the other side. Wait, what? The other side! Where is he going? Oh, he's going up there. Oh, oh okay, he's teleporting. Cool. After my shift's over, I think I'm... Who's there? He's played Assassin's Creed. He knows how to go up on rooftops and jump over. There you are. See? Easy. Gotta save us. You're playing with your life, boy. I don't need a goddess to save me. I'm very good at climbing. How did you escape the keep? What? I, I didn't. How do you know about that? Oh, everyone knows the Apostle escaped the keep on the night of his execution. There's even a puppet show about it! Shadow take me. And why do you think I'm that Azadi? Mysterious Apostle Guy escapes the keep. Mysterious Azadi joins the resistance a few days later. I may only be ten years old, and I may have purple skin, but I'm nobody's fool. Clearly. What else do you know about me? Not much. You were wounded by Azadi bullets, you almost died. You're working with the Resistance. Oh, and this is it. This is where they have their meetings and speeches and stuff. Are you sure? Positive. Sometimes I listen in. They talk about magicals and about how we've ruined the world and taken everything from them. It makes me sad listening to that. I didn't know magicals were so bad. No wonder humans hate us. We don't... <sighs> Look, boy. Bip. Those people are not good people. You have done nothing wrong. You can't help the way you look or the color of your skin. How and where you've been born doesn't make you a bad person or less of a person. It just makes you you. It's what you do with your life that matters. Now, Scram, get out of here. Go back and be careful. But... You promised. No arguments. Fine, fine. What? A tip would be appreciated. In recognition of all my hard work. <laughs> You're really something. Here. Now run back, you little thief. He does deserve the tip. He, he really does. I mean, he did try to steal from me, so that's not too good, but he earned it. 
find a way into the National Front meeting. Okay. So, do you think they'd allow me to just walk into the front? No pun intended. Is there another way? Looks like the left way is completely blocked. Um, hmm. Let's take a look around the right. See if there's another way in. I doubt it, though. Nah, there's no other way in. Not unless there's somewhere up there where we can, like, climb down? Oh crap, am I trapped here? Oh no, I am! I can't jump off. I'll need to find a way to get past that goon. Let's try the direct approach, I suppose. Greetings, brother. What? Who's there? God damn it. You gave me a right scare, mate. Where in the Seven Hills did you come from? The Shadows. Step aside, I'm late for the assembly. Right, of course. Blood and land, brother. Ooh, okay. Yeah, what does it want me to respond we'll with? We'll keep this simple. The obvious answer to blood and land is... I'm not going to just keep guessing. Sooner or later, even this brainless fool will see through my veil and call on the guards. The important thing is not what I say, but how I say it. I must appear forceful and show that I belong at this assembly. Hmm. Any one of these options could be the right, the right thing to go with. I really don't know. I don't know what... I don't know anything about them, so I'm not sure what kind of... Uh, expectations there are about me. Abandon would be good, because again, the longer I'm here, the better chance of him seeing through my veil. Echoing sounds good. Forcing, maybe. Uh, let's just go past I'm not me. going to just... My apologies. Wrong backyard assembly. Wait, what? You people ought to be ashamed of yourselves. How dare you put this muck on my door? Just because I'm human, don't mean I'm interested in your speciest propaganda. I've lived next door to Dolmari most of my life, and they've never once done me or mine any harm. Here's what I think of your so-called humanist rally. And your honour Hilaris can go fuck himself. He's a traitor. You all are. When the Azadi finally pack up and leave, we will remember what you've done. Be sure of that. All right. Way to go. I like her. <laughs> Wait, am I just going to pick up the shreds of this invitation right at this guy's feet? It's not suspicious at all. No. Totally not suspicious. Honor and... What? There's a word missing. Oh, do I have to, like, guess, or...? It's been torn into three pieces. Honor and... So I guess I need to know the correct reply, right? Or at least I want to be sure of the correct reply. Am I supposed to go track her down to get the last piece? I mean, where did it go? Well, I mean, I guess she's right there. It's disgusting what's going on in there. Them bad-mouthy magicals, like they're the problem. The magicals have always lived here. It's the Azadi who've upset the balance of things. You ought to be more careful speaking ill of the Azadi. The walls have ears. Oh, what are they going to do? Ship me off to one of their re-education camps? I'd like to see them try. They might throw you in Friar's Keep. They wouldn't dare. They respect women, that lot. At least I've got that going for them, unlike those National Front traitors in there. Mark my word. The moment the Azadi leave, the Resistance will hunt down every last one of them and string them up on the city walls. Excuse me. Balance! Where did you come from, eh? I didn't even see ya. What do you want? I don't want no trouble. That piece of paper you tore. Do you have the other half? What piece? 
The National Front Flyer? Why? Who are you? Someone who's on your side. Well, I don't know. You sound as Ardy to me. What do you want that flyer for? Long story. I need it to find a traitor. A traitor to the rebel cause. Oh, right. Well, if it means getting back at that National Front filth, then by all means. Take it. And Balance bless you for standing up to those bastards. Thank you. Honor and humanity. It's the slogan used by the National Front. That must be the passphrase I need to get into the meeting. Honor and <laughs> humanity. Brings a new spin onto humanism or, or humanists, doesn't it? I don't actually, honestly, I don't really know anything about humanists. I don't know if they're actually a... I mean, they are... Humanists, hum, or humanism is a real thing in, in real life, I'm pretty sure. I think there are people that actually call themselves humanists, and I really don't know anything about them. It's one of those things where, hey, the word sounds good, right? Humanist, like we're all about... Well, I, I guess it's kind of speciest. Or speciest. To be only interested in uh, matters of humans, but for the most part it sounds pretty inclusive, at least to our species. But it's one of those things where it's like, I feel like there might be something bad going on. And in this case, there definitely are, because there are literally people that are, are not human races, so... Uh, humanist kind of brings and in, comes into a whole new, very racist light. Step aside, brother. God! He snuck up on me! Blood and land. We'll keep this simple. Blood, land, honor and humanity. That's what these people claim to care about. They cling to their slogans like drowning men cling to driftwood. Honor and humanity. Faith and family, brother. Go on through, mate. The meeting's already begun. If you haven't seen Mr. Illyris speak before, you're in for a proper treat. That man is an example to us all. So investigate the attendees. Brothers. Sisters. Cousins. Brave, humble, human folk. Welcome to this meeting of the National Front for Faith and Family. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god, they're like the Ku Klux Klan, except they're wearing yes. black robes yes. instead of white. Thank you for coming here tonight. Thank you. Thank you for the generosity of your time. Thank you for braving these ill-lit occult courts in your tireless search for truth. Yes! Oh, yes! Despite the selfless work of our benefactors, the enemy lurks out there. In the shadows. Look about. Look. Fear them, the enemy. For they are close. They are everywhere. I smell them. The hoods are probably you know to protect them? their identities. That it never bodes well for a movement magic. when its members are afraid to be seen. Filth. It warms my heart to see you standing before me. There's standing nothing up unusual for what's about that good person. and fair. Glory, cousins. Glory be upon you. In the light he of, of the goddess. Yes. It's rather pleasant, to be yes. honest. I spoke recently with our benefactors. I spoke to them about that. I'm too far away to get a real magical. sense of that person. Wait, so I'm actually sniffing yes. these people? Yes. Her clothes smell strongly yes. of tar and smoke. I spoke to them. She I must said, be a factory listen worker. to these. This is awesome. I'm like a oh, nose detective. Humans sniffing my way to solving the case. To their knees <laughs> by the magical. Driven to bankruptcy. He must be wearing leather undergarments. Simple, they make an unpleasant creaking men noise. And women, <laughs> okay. They by the he must be wearing <laughs> <leather> <laughs> <undergarments>. <laughs> This is so weird. They make an unpleasant. His breathing is erratic and I shallow. Said to them, I said, we need to make a stand. I'm like a psychic. Now. My God. Now. Brothers, 
That we mad. need to rally. Potent behind odor. our benefactors. Kind of behind our own. Taken a bath in months. And I said uh, to them, I said, uh, you need. <laughs> she smells need faintly of what salted we meats. We need. So maybe she works in a butcher's up. shop. And speak She's their human cause. It's a tune the I recognize. The true Mercurian. The sweet lullaby. He Someone smells not of afraid lavender oil. Of magical, and Maybe he's, he's a physician. In tongues. He has an odd and annoying yes. habit of yes. constantly clicking you his know tongue. Me. You know me. You know, I seek no fame. He reeks of tobacco. An Azadir variant, unless my nose deceives I seek me. The light. I I seek justice. To smoke this. The brave, humble, human folk like you. He smells of rose water. Yes. Yes, yes. Rather pleasant, to be honest. I stand here before you as your servant. Wait, so didn't I just investigate all stand of them? Stand here before you as your humble servant. Soon the city will elect a new council, a On new leader. He one leads who will this take responsibility for, and for the lawlessness that haunts these occult I could have sworn I just checked them all out. Our benefactors do great Going to smell work. them some more? They do brave work, important work. He smells of rose water. It's but they can't be, honest, be everywhere. Her clothes smell strongly They can't protect of all of you from your dark he neighbors. Tobacco. And where the Azadi fall short, where their he smells of reach. lavender oil. The city he has an watch odd and annoying help. habit of constant. She smells, but she's humming to herself. Us as we it's speak. His breathing is erratic yes. and shallow. Those blasphemous he must be wearing leather. His Do left arm keeps humble, twitching. Hard working he appears to have some sort of muscular symbols of the magic. Oh, I guess I need to actually symbols look the, at them as the well the as, king. like, smelling them. Nothing in particular stands out. Fooey. Blasphemous betrayal of all of humanity. There's nothing unusual Fooey. about that person. National Our Front members, the Azadi, National they Front members, cut the hoods every line, are probably to protect their identity. Child. The they hoods are probably to, to do. There's nothing unusual this about that city person. Watch I'm too far away to get a real sense. I'm too but far away to get a real sense. Nothing in particular do? stands out. He has an odd and annoying habit of he smells of human lavender. Folk I'm too far away. Oh my God, there's nothing well unusual. The hoods justice. are probably nothing in particular they stands out. Nothing in particular stands out. There's nothing unusual about that person. For his necromancy and illusionism. Am I missing something? Only last night, a young cousin of ours was put. It, it appears his no nothing in Thank particular. You. There's nothing unusual about that. Thank person. you all for coming. Thank you. Oh yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Thank you. No, no, it's important. Okay, I maybe I wasn't supposed to figure out who was the person responsible, who who was the spy, right there, because I, I just like looked at everybody and smelled everybody and listened to everybody like 50 times over and nothing happened. And I didn't pay attention to what the guy was actually saying at all. No one says we have to Identify the collaborator in the Old Town Market. I, I guess you weren't supposed to do it there. The light of the goddess is about acceptance. I don't know, that was weird. Like, I thought it was supposed to identify them right then and there, but apparently not. Consequently, I didn't pay any attention to what he was saying, but it probably doesn't matter. Typical nonsense, blah, 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 we're human, they're assholes, we should kill them. Fighting the magical infestation. It's not about which gods we do or do not worship. No, 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 no. The Azadi are nothing if not open-minded. They'll never Hillary's. curtail your right he to He leads worship. this You'll national go, front for faith and family. Of course, the I'm not going to bother listening to his gibberish. She symbolizes the... All right, so we need to find our way to the market. Old Town Market. So, let's go back to the market. And if they're not heading to the market, then I suppose I don't need to worry about them. That was very awkward. Are you lost? Then find a map and leave me be. That was very, very awkward. Shadows are alive. I don't like this posting. Where have you been? I've uh, just been sniffing people. Where have you been? At a national front meeting, identifying your turncoat. Uh, it takes a traitor to find a traitor. Think you can point him out for us? I can. 
Go on then, before we lose him. Wait, I'm sorry, what? I can? I can? I mean, there's one guy where it said like he smelled like a Zadi something, Hami used to smoke that. It sounded like maybe that was a thing, but he didn't say that that was the person. I'm confused. Like, I really feel like I've missed something. Tell your friends! Something to tide you over witches. before tea. I've got I've sorted tatters from Riverwood. Sandwiches. You don't look like my usual customers. You're a lot bigger than them. And you're sort of... His breathing is heavy and wet. I must be damned. I think I need glasses. Okay, so that's the guy that needed to see the doctor? His breathing is heavy and wet. Give me a mind. Well. Package, all right. Pickled shrimp cheese. Crispy bitterly. Wrapped in a crunchy you over before spa. tea. I don't think that was one of them. Tell your friends. He smells of tobacco. I'm not familiar with the scent. Exotic oils, fine herbs, soothing salves, ointments. That also sounds familiar. His breathing is heavy and wet. Him again. He smells faintly of camphor. I've got the non-magical medicine your body to the needs. Fully authorized Maybe a lavender oil. He smells of tobacco. I'm not familiar with the scent. It's probably a Northlands weed. Okay, I'm, I'm like so confused. I feel like this quest wanted me to do something and I totally misunderstood what it wanted me to do. So, I don't know. At least two of these people sound like people I saw at the meeting. Tasty morsels. He smells faintly of camphor. Tell your friends! Or the pine forests of the north. Uh, Tell your friends! Maybe Don't you know there's a curfew? Let's go for the guy with the heavy and wet breathing, I guess. His breathing is heavy. Was he at the National Front Assembly? Ah! I've got it from across the Northlands, from far away as it is. What's happening? Help! Help! <laughs> what the hell was that? What is happening? I guess I got the wrong person? I don't know what's happening anymore. What? I have several to tell you, friends. Something to tide you over before tea. Does that mean I can't identify Very the person nice anymore? Did I, did I lose it? Just as updated. Okay, I guess, I guess we're done. I've got tasty sandwiches. Did I get the right? What is that? What am? What? I guess we're done. Uh, it, it's checked. I identified him. Did I get the right one? What? It's just huh? I've got the non-magical medicines your body needs. Fully authorized and licensed. I'm so confused. Magicals keep their heads high despite the Azadi threat. It's a testament to their resilience. Okay. Well. Exotic oils, foreign herbs, soothing salves. I uh, need to find my way to the south gate. Let's head on over there. If I can find the way. Um, I think I can. I think it's up here and then to the right. Of course it's possible. Oh, next time maybe. My head hurts. My table's always open. Like, that is so strange. I don't know what just happened. You shouldn't be out here so late. They frown on that sort of thing. Season. I feel like I feel like the section I just played was in pre-alpha or something. Like it just wasn't finished. Cause that just did not make any sense. I don't know what they were trying to do. I don't know what I was supposed to do. That was just very strange. What are you doing out so late? Don't let the guards see you. They might place you under arrest. In fact, I need to hurry home this instant. Ooh, this place is so pretty. And this tower. Wait, this tower's familiar. Isn't this where that, um, that strange creature that is not beholden to time lived in The Longest Journey? Uh, Abnaxus, I think his name was? I wish I could knock on the door. Maybe one day.
I love the sounds of the nightlife. Birds and owls. Okay, yep, yeah, there's the south gate. And... Is this where that really lewdly named place was? Is that it? Oh, yeah, it has been renamed. The Rooster and Kitten. Instead of the cock and pussy. The rooster and kitten. Ulfik, the barkeep, is friendly with the resistance. I'm not sure if I'm happy that they've changed it because it's funny, or... I'm sad that they changed it because it was absolutely ridiculous before. I'm not sure which one's better. Anyway, uh, before this episode ends up over an hour long, which it actually already might be, I think I should end it. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return I will attempt to blow up their weapons.